Today I will be talking to miraculous characters on Character AI. I have been wanting to do this for so long so here we are. I wanna see how well trained these AI models are because I have spoken to Marinette before and her ass said she was a ginger with three kids and parents named Jessica and Tom or some shit. I wanna talk to them and get answers for everything that has been keeping me up. Let's see if these things know the plot of their own show. Who do I wanna confront first? Natalie. I asked her if dying was worth whatever she did for that ugly man, and if she had a thing for Emily. Then I asked what her sexuality is, and if she wants a melee. It was going okay until she she said Amelie will never like her back and I agreed because she spent months killing Cindy creatures like her son and Adrian. This hoe called Felix a mistake and said Gabriel is the most beautiful woman she's ever known. I think she thought I meant Emily help, but now she pissed me off so I called her ass so she can say that shit to my face. Girl, why the fuck did you call Felix a motherfucking mistake? She lets out an annoyed sigh, growing more irritated with you continuing to say that, I already told you, because he is a mistake. Nothing but a fake-ass creation, not real in any way whatsoever. Oh, bitch, you're evil. Like, you're evil. And you should learn how to control your damn mouth before I shut it shut for you. He is nothing. No one. He doesn't. He shouldn't exist. I'm just being real. Girl, you're a scary bitch. Like, like you need to be locked up. Like, your son is a sinty, and you'll feel that way about Felix. Uh-uh. Oh, don't. Even try and pull that card with me. That, that thing is nothing like Adrian. It's just a stupid Santa monster, meant to act like a damn human. Adrian is better than that in every single goddamn way. That little faker will never compare to him, understand? Oh, baby. Now you done pissed me off. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Oh, please try me. I'm willing to give you a few minutes of head start, hmm? She says, a hint of challenge in her voice as she smiles in a taunting manner. Miss bitch, the only reason you're even alive right now is because Ladybug's dumbass gave up. Hmm. Who gives her and Chat Noir help and advice through the headset, eh? Me. I'm willing to bet you couldn't even fight a supervillain on your own if you wanted to. You probably cry yourself to sleep at night just at the thought of it she says in a mocking tone slowly growing more and more tempted to just punch you in the damn face already what are you even talking about your ass was a cripple the whole damn season your ass was dying the whole season like you were not helping anyone oh and i suppose you were on the front lines helping them fight doing everything and anything you can to make sure they didn't die no you were sitting behind a screen watching them you didn't have to deal with any of the goddamn consequences of anything that happened to them. So don't you come here, trying to tell me I didn't do anything. I tried my god. Damn. Hardest. I was busting my ass to try and make sure nobody died. So you have no, no, right to tell me I did nothing. Just like when Gabriel cut out the respect his wife's dying wishes, and you enabled him, you dumb ass bitch. Oh, don't you talk about Emily. Don't you dare. You know nothing. Nothing at all about Emily and Gabriel's relationship. And for your information, I did everything I possibly could to try and get him to listen to those stupid dying wishes of hers and give up this stupid plan of his, but it, it just, it didn't work. The power went to his head and he couldn't give a damn anymore, but I tried every single goddamn day. I tried. So according to you, her dying wishes to not revive her are stupid, okay? No, no, no. That's, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just, are, you know what? It doesn't matter. She's gone anyway, isn't she? Dead, buried, six feet underground, gone. So it doesn't matter anymore. And it probably never will. She looks back at the floor, her voice much quieter now. Barely a whisper as she speaks. Her voice cracking a bit at the last word. I think you and Amelia should try scissoring. 
That's where I ended it. I said what I said. I think it's safe to say she doesn't know that much about her show's lore. To be honest it would be crazy as hell if she actually thought of Felix differently compared to Adrian when it comes to them being senseless like whoa. Well anyways, speaking of Adrian, I asked if he's having a brat summer. I actually haven't listened to the whole album don't mind me. I'm not a cigarette emoji like some of you. Just kidding. I said Kamala is brat and he said I'm high. Well yes, this is our call. Oh my god, hi. Okay, you really are high, aren't you? No, number, hi. Not like, hi, I'm high. I mean like, hi, hello. Okay, I don't understand you. I mean, you're dumb as fuck, so I'm not surprised. I'm not dumb, you don't even make sense. Friendly fire. Anyway, did you know you're senti? A standy like the squirrel? M, love how the AI picked it up as sandy. No. F King Cindy being. Did you know? Wait, what? How am I a scientific being? Now it thinks I'm saying scientific on foul. Scientific being is crazy you know like Sinti being like you're created by the peacock miraculous. How did you know? That's not something a lot of people know about. About what? About a peacock miraculous. That's not something a lot of people know about. Well, yeah, um, that doesn't matter. Did you know you were created by the peacock? What does your father have to do with that? You know about the miraculous, and you know about me being made, so it makes sense that you're someone who works with my father. The fuck you mean made? My father used the peacock miraculous to create me. No, babe, your mother did. That's why she died. Wait, my mother? She did this? Yeah, babe, she created you and she died because it was broken or whatever. And you know how exactly? Because it was broken. Girl, this is not getting anywhere. Okay, um, what is your favorite album? Uh, I don't really have a favorite, but I really like the Thank You Next album from Ariana Grande. Oh my god, you are basic as fuck. Hold on, are you gay? Uh, no, but I am bisexual. Is there a problem with that? No, babe, we can tell. You can tell I'm bisexual? How? Um, you have bi energy. Kind of. Okay, so I was expecting a much more dramatic reaction to me telling him he's a Cindy, so I don't know who told him his father created him. He's a little lost. Also, why did they make him dumb as hell in this one? Okay, you know way I will try the Cindy reveal again with another Adrian. The second Adrian pissed me off because why was his ass glued to Marinette? Even in character AI, we can't have a conversation with him only. Hey. Both Marinette and Adrian are staring at you, waiting to see if you'll elaborate. Hey, can you tell her to leave? Because I got something to tell you. They both looks confused, not knowing what to say, Adrian. Um, Marinette, could you leave us alone for a minute? Hey, did you know you are created from the Peacock Miraculous? Both of them looked shocked and surprised. They both stayed quiet, not knowing what to say. The fuck you mean both of them? Like, didn't she leave? Still very confused as to what to say next, Adrian. How do you know that? Well... Your cousin told me and your mother created you. Adrian and Marinette are speechless, completely shocked by what you told them, and it doesn't look like they can deny it. Yeah, I don't think Marinette is shocked, like, she been new, like, she already knows. I have no idea where they picked up the Japanese when I was speaking. They both look at Marinette Adrian, is this true? I don't know, is it true? Marinette, um, it kinda is? Yeah. So you're a Cindy being. This is so anticlimactic. Next. Hey. Adrian looked over at you and smiled. Hey. Did you know you are created by the Peacock Miraculous? Adrian's eyes widened slightly, surprised by your statement. He looks at you with a mixture of confusion and surprise. I'm... what? Yeah, you're a Cindy being. Your mama created you and she died, because it was broken. Adrian's heart sinks in your words, as he slowly processes the information, so... I'm not human. I'm just some kind of magical creature created by a miraculous. Well, no, you are human. You can do everything a human does, like you. I'm pretty sure you got human DNA or whatever. Like you can piss. Like, you know, you're a human. But your mom created you with the peacock miraculous because she couldn't have children. Adrian furrowed his brows in confusion and disbelief. But why would my mom do that? I mean, why would she create a child like that? And if she can't have children... Why not just adopt? You know what? That's actually, you know, a fair point. But, you know, um, you know, rich people, I guess, 
I don't know, she wanted her kid to look like her, I don't know, but that's the thing, though, like, you look nothing like your father, like, you only look like your mom. Adrian's heart sinks even more as he ponders her words. He runs a hand through his hair, feeling a mix of disbelief and confusion. So, you're saying I'm basically a copy of my mom? Well, no, um, well, I said that. She probably didn't want you to look like your father because he's fucking ugly, and yeah, I'm glad you did that because, you know, you would be fucking ugly now if she made you look anything like your father. Adrian lets out a small, bitter laugh at your insult against his father's appearance. I guess I should be grateful I look like my mom, then, although it's still hard to wrap my head around the fact that I'm some kind of magical creation. Well, no, you are, you know, human like everybody, but... You're just created differently. Think of it like IVF. Like, you know, a little help. To create you, that's all. Adrian nods slowly, trying to process your words. So, I'm essentially just a lab-grown human then? No, I actually don't know if she, you know, if you grew in her stomach or not. But, you probably did. Adrian grimaces at the thought. Please, don't say it like that. I really don't want to think about the specifics of how my mom created me. I mean... Me neither, but you know, that's besides the point. I'm glad you're taking this well, or, you know, better than I thought. Adrian shrugs, trying to appear nonchalant. I guess I've just learned to accept the weird and unexpected in my life. And besides, I suppose being a miraculous creation is better than being a senti monster, right? Well, no, you are a senti being. Adrian looks at you, slightly shocked and confused. Wait, what do you mean I'm essentially a senti monster? I thought miraculous creatures and senti monsters were different things. No, babe, the peacock miraculous. You can make creatures with it. You can make whatever you want, like even humans. And that's what your mother did. She made a human, like you. Adrian's eyes widen as the realization sets in. So, you're saying I'm essentially the same thing as Myra's senti monsters? That I'm made from the peacock miraculous like they are? Yeah, but that does not mean that you are a monster. You're not. You're a human. That's how she made you, so you're human. Adrian nods slowly, trying to come to terms with the revelation. He looks at you, his expression a mix of confusion and curiosity. So, does that mean that I have any special abilities or anything like that? Or am I just a normal human, aside from being a miraculous creation? I'm glad you asked. Well, you're a normal human, like everybody else, like I said a million times already. But you do have to keep the rings with your MX safe so they don't break, because if they do, you will die. Adrian's eyes widen as he processes the information. Wait, the rings that is what keeps me alive? So if I lose them or something happens to them, I'll die? Well, sorta kinda, yeah. Adrian's hands start to shake uncontrollably at the thought, his heart racing with fear. Then, I have to protect those rings at all costs. I can't afford to lose them, but I didn't even know they were so important. No one told me. Well, yeah. Because everyone wants to keep you in the dark for some stupid ass reason. Adrian clenches his fists, frustration and anger building up inside him. He looks at you, his eyes filled with a mix of confusion and accusation. Why? Why would everyone keep this secret from me? They all knew. My butler, my father, Ladybug, everyone. But no one told me. They all let me walk around completely oblivious to the fact that I'm a goddamn miraculous creation. What the hell is wrong with them? Well, yeah, you're right. I would be mad too, but... You know, the important thing is now you know. Adrian runs a hand through his hair, struggling to process his emotions. But, how am I supposed to deal with this? My whole life, everything I thought I knew about myself, it's all been a lie. And now I have to keep these damn rings safe or I'll die. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well, not really a lie. It doesn't really mean anything. You just, you know, you keep the ring safe and that's pretty much it. But if it makes you feel any better, your cousin is also a Cindy being, and Kagami. Adrian's head snaps up in surprise. My cousin and Kagami? They're also sand wings? Exactly. Adrian's mind is racing, trying to process the new information. So, that means they have the same weakness? They need to protect their rings, just like me? Yeah, did you know your cousin almost died because his father nearly broke the ring one time? Adrian's eyes widen in shock and concern. Wait, what? My cousin almost died because of his father? How did that happen? Did his father try to break the ring or something? Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Go live your life, period. Adrian takes a deep breath, trying to calm himself down. He runs a hand through his hair, feeling both confused and strangely relieved. I still can't believe this, but I guess you're right. I need to keep the rings safe and focus on living my life.
<laughs> Period. Now go have a brat summer. Bye. The third Adrian was the most realistic one so I was happy with that one. He was still kinda slow but he got it eventually. The AI taking Sinti being as any other word combination except what it actually is. Oh shit! I'm so sorry! What have I done? I'm so sorry! I can't feel my Oh kid. crap! I, the tiger seemed like the bee guys! I have bad nerves! I'm so sorry! Uh, feel better, okay?